The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Time now 517 as we have a live look at our SkyCam network showing mostly cloudy skies over top of most of our towns this afternoon. A little bit of sunshine here and there and also a little bit of rain out there, especially near Blacksburg as uh, we see a shower out in the distance out at Virginia Tech. Now we do have a flood threat for the rest of the day. There is a slight risk for uh, some flooding, primarily for parts of Lynchburg and the Highlands. Everywhere else, um, low chances of flooding. But nonetheless, if we see a heavy shower, we could see a little bit of localized flooding. That threat extends into tomorrow as well as we could see some scattered storms build into the region, primarily in the afternoon hours. But we'll talk more about that in just a second. Here's that flood watch that is in effect from Highland County, expanding all the way to Appomattox County, engulfing all of the counties in between as well. That goes until 2 a.m. tonight. So by morning, we likely won't be in a flood watch anymore. Now, I know what you're thinking. We've been cloudy. We've been rainy. It's been soggy for basically the last two, three days. Well, I'm here to tell you that we've actually not been so bad. We've not been so soggy in comparison to some areas neighboring the Gulf Coast. Six inches of rain in parts of Mississippi, four inches just north of Houston. And if you remember last week, Houston got about 30 inches of rain in about a week's time. So they've been dealing with some historic flooding and we haven't seen uh, that amount of historic flooding. We've actually only seen about a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rainfall so far. Let's switch over to current radar. We are seeing low pressure down to our south, which is bringing in a southerly flow of moisture. So if we dial in here a little bit closer to home, there is that one big cell creeping up into parts of Montgomery County right now. That is going to be moving through Roanoke County, <clears throat> excuse me, very, very shortly here. Let's actually switch over to uh, the Blacksburg radar so we get a little bit better resolution of what's actually going on within this cell here and then zoom in. Um, it's going to be tracking basically right on top of radar, basically tracking further to the east within the next hour or so. So Roanoke County, get ready for uh, some big time rain here shortly. For the rest of your evening planner, 90% chance of rain through the 7 p.m. hour. Then rain chances fall off through about 10 p.m. Then they'll actually increase as we have a look at future tracker picking us up at 6 p.m. Still mostly cloudy, still a couple of showers here by 7, some lighter rain, but by about 11 p.m. We're starting to see some big time rain pop up on future tracker, and then that moves off towards the east by 2 a.m. Engulfing parts of the Hill City, Danville, South Boston as well. So perhaps a few cracks of lightning through the overnight hours, but by the time we get to the morning, we should be clear of most of the rain to start off our Saturday. That means the temperatures will be anywhere from the upper 50s to lower 60s right at of the gates and then by tomorrow afternoon temperatures into the mid 70s Sunday also going to be in the mid 70s but some good news going to be a little bit clearer on our Sunday as we have a look at future tracker going through Saturday by middle of the day we could see some isolated to scattered showers pop up with a few storms later on in the afternoon then by Sunday we'll actually start to clear up quite a bit as low pressure moves off towards the south and east. Let's bring up that seven day forecast for you. Uh, average high for this time of year about 77 degrees. Notice we're just below that for the weekend. But once we get into next week, guys, temperatures back into the 80s and lots of sunshine both Monday and Tuesday.